Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. Mrs. Jennifer Anderson. Miss. Miss. Okay, yes. I'm sorry. My, my apologies. I okay. Happy divorcee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, just in case uh, people are wondering who you are. Mm-hmm. All right. Your daughter is. Can I call her? You want me to call her Sierra Anderson or yes. Lynette? Okay. Sierra Anderson is mm-hmm. the longtime girlfriend. I want to say how many years? Like five or six years. Well, um, Sierra is has started out as his manager. Okay. Um, I'm assuming they started seeing each other in 2016. Okay. So just in case you guys don't know who we're talking about, we're talking about Young Dro, okay? Yes. Young Dro was T.I.'s artist, all right? Now, yes. he's long. He's no longer uh, signed to T.I.'s label or... As far as I know. Okay, okay, because I know he's he's been on the decline. I like to refer to him as a has-been rapper, okay? Yes. So just in case the audience is wondering, all right, so we're doing a follow-up interview to what Young Dro uh, did with Ricky Sp- Smiley. Yes. I said Smiley. <laughs> <laughs> Smiley, mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, last week, addressing his, uh, I guess, uh, domestic violence report. I have the police report right here in front of me. You sent yes. it to me. Thank you for the receipts. Yes. <laughs> Every, I love the receipts when I have it on paper and everything. So, so this I. is the incident mm-hmm. investigation report. So TMZ actually posted the exclusive stating that young Joe was arrested for uh, throwing banana pudding at your daughter. Okay. Now, they didn't release everything that the police report has stated. I believe some other blogs had did some digging and things like that and have found out that your daughter mentioned here in the police report that, um, of course, the police was called the day after uh, Fourth of July. Yes. Okay. And, and please tell me if I'm if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Okay. okay. So because I want people to get the full story okay. because it's a lot. You're making a lot of allegations that he has drug drug use. Uh, he's been keeping your daughter hostage. Sometimes he's he, he's hit your daughter in front of the kids. Yes. Okay. All right. So let me read this police report and then we're gonna break down everything that you wrote in this email. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. I'm not going to read because I want you to explain the email to me. I would okay. Be happy to. Mm-hmm. All right. So on um, <clears throat> 7 5 2019, Officer Reynolds responded to uh, a call that he had gotten. Okay. And when en route, uh, he actually came upon Young Dro. Uh, walking in the neighborhood and had asked him to, he was wearing all white, and had asked him to, uh, I guess, return to the house, okay? Young Dro's real name is Dewan Hart, okay? Uh, so yes. just in case people are wondering who I'm asked, who I'm talking about. Anderson stated while in the bedroom, Hart punched her in the arm, leaving a bruise, okay? Yes. This is the same day, the same incident of the banana banana pudding incident. Anderson, who is your daughter, advised while sitting on the couch in in the front room, she was eating some banana pudding and Hart smashed the plate of banana pudding in her face. Okay. A very different story than what he told Ricky Smiley on the show. He basically said that both of them had, you know, just kind of tumbled and the banana pudding went everywhere. It it went into her sewing. Yes, he lied. Yes. It was the 4th. We had a great day. After we got through cooking, you know, we made the dessert. So the banana pudding was so good that day. Me and my baby mama woke up, and we were both at the refrigerator that morning. But we had we had a little spat that night. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it, we picked up that morning, the little spat that we had. And uh, so we at the refrigerator. So I was like, and yeah, that argument we were having yesterday. So right. she, she said something to the degree of me being lesser than a man. And right, so, yeah, your, your little rap career and your, yeah, little, your, your little, little entourage. Yeah, you ain't about like nothing. Bullet. You yeah, know, she, she was right. grabbing the air, you know yeah. what I'm saying, talking. So, you know, when, when I said what I said, she threw. But when she threw it. Now, what did you say when she said what she said? I, I got, I said something that, you know, degraded her too. I don't want right. to just say it, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I do respect women, but we had a heated moment, you know what I mean? So when she threw her banana pudding, it kind of like went around like my nose and my chin. So I just licked it off. You feel me? Okay. Right. When I threw mine, it went in her, her sew in. So, and uh-huh, we was, so wait, hold on, hold on, say what now? We, um, we, we continued the argument on the porch. With the banana pudding. It was on our face at that point. Now, where the Nella wafers in the pudding you made that day? Yes, it was. Now, do you feel like there would have been less of a charge if there were no Nella wafers in the pudding that you threw because it would have list, it would have lessened the weight of the pudding? It wouldn't have been batter in it. It would have been. It, would have, it took the battery out. It had just been salt. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> 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 
So I'm in the back of the police car, and the lady was like, I'm going to kill you, Dro. I said, I said, so you really going to charge me with throwing banana pudding? I was like, can I get a little more before we go? <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that what the police officer said to you? Yeah, I like, asked like she going to trump up the charges? Well, we, we was actually negotiating what charge to even give me, but the, but her supervisor was there, and she, and she was like, well, the disorderly conduct would be just you arguing. Since the banana pudding was thrown, that's a form of battery. I was like, "It's some battery in it," but <laughs> I don't think I don't think it, you know. I, I, I was, it was no physical. It was nothing physical. No, no violence. Okay, because right. like you know, because like I think later in the blog, she was saying that you actually punched her. Punched? Mm. No, I. That, no, my girl. No, my baby mom too pretty for that. And she actually tried to drop the charges, but once the cops come to your house, they got to keep that thing rolling. No, when, when actually we she didn't call the cops. The neighbors called. Oh. So they, they park across the street at the neighbor's house. I, I took a I took a heated walk, me and my son. I just said, okay, I'm out. So we walking up the street. The cops see me coming down the street. She was like, what's your name? I was like, Dawn. <laughs> 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 I gave her that government. The government choice. And so the lady was, so she looked at me. She was like, I know who you is. You might as well come on back down the street. I was like, cool. So I walked back down the street. You know what I mean? I could have ran. I'm from the project. I could have done it. Right, but you know, I ain't with all that. You know, I know how to answer my problems. Plus, we had a spat. You know what I mean? And I and I and I like to thank that officer for putting me in my place. Okay, uh, all right. What did he lie about? All right, winos. You know, good health is hard to come by, especially when life gets in the way. But the olive leaf extract can actually help you with that. The olive leaf extract can help detox your body in just seven days. It's like magic, but better because it's real and it gives real results. And I know this because I personally use it. The olive leaf extract can help lower your blood pressure, clear eczema, and fight against autoimmune diseases and so much more. Now, I want you to do something good for your health and just visit their website at www.myoliveleaf.biz. The link is located below in the description box as well as in the comments. Well, first of all, he lied about the the woman because they don't have children together. My daughter don't have any biological children. So, uh, because I listened to the, and I took notes of all the, you know, lies that he told on Ricky Smiley. I don't understand why he's trying to throw off people, um, have them thinking that it was his baby's mother that he was having the issue with mm -hmm. because his baby mother don't live in my daughter's house. Okay, now your daughter is raising his kids, although she's not, she doesn't have a child physically with young Dro. Well, they visit. Uh, now, she was raising the middle daughter, the okay. 11 year old, but the youngest one, the one that he talks about all the time that he plays with. Um, okay. That's the two year old, two or three year old, the little boy. Okay. Now, um, it's also been alleged, even in. Uh, he visits. Okay. The three, yeah. He visits. Yes. So, okay, so your daughter has a child. She don't have any children. She don't have any children. Okay, that's that's weird because no so I read no somewhere that she did have a child. So that's the lie that you're clearing up right now. Yes. That she doesn't have any children. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, it was also stated by your daughter the day that this banana pudding incident happened that he cut up her furniture, her living room furniture with the kitchen knife. Um, and Hart, who is young Dro, advised that he did not hit <laughs> Anderson on this date. And the bruises from her body that she told the police during this incident that was not put out by any any other media outlet they just only highlighted the banana pudding and that he was not able to get out of jail because he was behind on child support okay um said that the bruises that she told the police officers that she had that there are pictures uh too that they were birthmarks okay now uh the pictures for the bruises they are coming forth i did um submit a request for the pictures okay um and i don't know why they you know, just uh, reluctantly, uh, not in a hurry to send me the pictures because I need the pictures. Okay. Before right. next Tuesday, before you go to court. So. Okay. Now, your daughter also alleged in the police report, okay, and you stated this in your email that Young Dro has a serious drug problem and that he consumes Xanax, Ecstasy, Abuterol, Molly's, and Percocet. That's a lot of shit. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's a lot of shit. And when he comes down off of the drugs, he acts out of character. And Hart was advised that he was under arrest, okay, for simple battery. And there was just a citation number given. And his court date was just recently August 13th. And what happened? Well, August 13th, that was that was the um, a, a different court date for the... Child support? Uh, okay. yeah, I'm assuming the child support case. Okay. His um, prosecution court date would be August 22nd. Oh, okay. And I found that out after... 
Now, your um, daughter, now, because your daughter, does she know that you're here? No. No. Okay. Now, it also stated here that your daughter did not want to press charges after everything she told the police officers. Okay. Being that your daughter doesn't know that you're here and she doesn't want to press charges, why are you coming forward? Not that I have a problem with it because mm-hmm. I understand if it was my daughter and something was going on like this and I had access, <laughs> I would probably do what I can to to make sure that, you know, um, justice is being served. People know what type of asshole this, you know, this person is. So just tell me why you're here. Okay. I'm here because, uh, first of all, I want to. Can I go back Absolutely. to Take this it. report? Yes, please. Okay, um, I was notified that my daughter had been jumped on by Dro and that her wrist was broken and it was in a cast. Oh, wow. Okay, so I jumped in my car, drove five hours to get here. When I saw my daughter on the, I think it was a six, okay. uh, she she had bruises. She was bru- had bruises on her arms. Um, her wrist wasn't broke. But I believe it was fractured because her arm was swollen, and she was limping pretty oh, wow. bad. Um, so there were more than, it wasn't just bruises on her arm, it was bruises on other parts of her. Um, immediately, I took her to the doctor. Uh, she, at that time, she did tell the doctor everything. Uh, they examined her. Okay. And um, she was, they put on some medication, um, and she's supposed to be going back, you know, to the doctor, but... During that time, she also was starting to cooperate with domestic violence, you know. Okay. Um, the issue that I'm having with all of this, uh, getting back to your question. Okay. Uh, Drew, um, he, he, what he, what's going on here has been ongoing. This is not the first incident. Um, this abuse has been going on for, I would say, maybe a little over a year. Oh, wow. Uh, but my daughter just started confessing to me and her close of close family members about it um back in november during this time sierra i think she was at this point where she was ready to just go ahead and you know try to get out of this and you know get her back life back on track um but prior to that they were going to counseling uh i i'm the type of person i try to trust sierra's judgment because of the type of young woman that she is. She's a very, she was very fearless. Okay. Uh, just a very strong, you know, uh, very productive, very successful, you know. Uh, when she's the type of person when she go after something, when she wants something to go after, she know how to get it. And um, she's not the daughter that I knew two years ago. And this is really, you know, what was really upsetting me because I tried to trust her judgment as far as getting counseling and taking him to get counseling. And because she's a psychology major, she literally diagnosed his problem. Mm. Um, and that's the way I try to, you know, project it as a diagnosis. And what problem but, did she diagnose, if you don't mind me? Uh, that he has um, a drug problem. He's bipolar. Um, uh, some some other issues as far as his moodiness. She's thinking that he could have possibly been victimized. Could have been something that hidden in him mm. that he haven't you know brought forth. But after all of this, um, and just trying to trust her judgment because you know she not only does she deal with him on a intimate level but on a professional level, she manages him. Oh, okay. Okay, so... She's currently managing him? Yes, she's oh, currently wow. managing him. So okay. um, I was trusting her judgment, but I, th- at the same token, I told her I think she needs to try to get some help <coughs> for herself. Um, mm. Now, um, after that, you know, um, she promised me that she was, you know, even though they were going counseling together. I want her to get separate counseling. Okay. So she can start identifying with what she's dealing with. Uh, she, I found out she had not did that. Okay, so prior to that, I just said, well, I'm going to kind of just see which way this thing is going. Okay. Uh, but well, they, had a, they had a real, it was a real big fight. Every time that Joe get high, he hides his money and his phone, and he can't find it. So when he can't find it, 
He forgets what he has as things. So when he cannot find it, then he fights my daughter. Uh, this is what she explained to me. Uh, this very, that very last incident that um, when he tore up the house, I mean, took a lot of her belongings as far as big, expensive vases and different things around the house. Okay. And threw, uh, threw it through the front door and knocked out her glass because her front door has glass and wood. Uh, he destroyed that. Um, he threw vases and things in her kitchen doors, the kitchen doors. Okay. Um, he also threw something and busted out the television screen in the downstairs um, mm -hmm. area. Also bust out a glass, because she loved glass. She okay. had a glass, round glass, an oval table. Okay. He uh, busted that up. Um, and he took her phones and destroyed the phones. After that, that's when I started be beginning to get a little concerned about Sierra's decisions and the way she was thinking. Okay. Um, as far as he was concerned, you know. And I was telling her that, you know, at this point, she really needs to go ahead and figure something out and try to get out of this, you know, because it's, it, at this point, I knew she was really in danger uh, with him. Um, and I saw him that day, too. That, that day that I saw him, that was the first time I ever seen Joe high. Mm. He was high. He was walking in the rain. He had his daughter's book bag, 11-year-old mm. daughter book bag, walking in the rain. So... I knew then that at that point he needed some help. And I told, at that time, I was willing to try to work with her to try to get, see if he would go into some sort of residential treatment. And he told her that he would. He wouldn't, you know, uh, but when that time come, he always had an excuse. You know, so if he had to do a show, or it was always something in the way of that. And, you know, like I explained to Sierra, he really don't want any help. He likes getting high, and she has to accept that. You know, he has gotten to the point where he's selling things out of her house, you know, her things, and she's giving me things to hold on to, you know, uh, a lot of possessions that she's trying to hold on to. I mean, like I told her, why you wanna, Why would you put yourself through this? Because I had been through this, you know. Uh, I was married to a drug addict, and I've experienced the stealing. He jumped on me one time. And when he did that, Sierra stabbed him. She almost killed him. Mm -hmm. And that's why I don't understand her, because that's one thing she had always told me. She said, I would never um, mess with the type of man that you, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. deal with or whatever. You know, she said she would never. And I was really shocked when um, she got into this relationship. When If anybody would have told me this, I would have never, ever believed it, you know, because that's not Sierra's caliber. She was always careful, you know, uh, mm -hmm. when it came to men. Um, now, you claim, because um, when you sent the email, you said that um, he's hit her in front of the kids. Yes. And the kids have reported it to the, the school. school officials. Yes. Okay. And there was, I guess there was some sort of investigation. Yes. Launched. And what did they conclude? Well, DFAS came out to the house, uh, I was told. Okay. Uh, they did an investigation. Um, I don't know what happened after that okay um uh when i came in town his daughter was no longer living there okay um and my granddaughter she was the one that also witnessed it so okay. uh but my the granddaughter seen him hit her more than one time and um you said that um in your email of course he has beaten her he has spit in her face yes he has um pulled out her hair fractured yes. her wrist we went over that pushed her on the floor yes and you also state that your daughter has a heart condition yes and she's um and i have to say allegedly going through all of this abuse while yes. having a heart condition yes um you also mentioned that um he held her hostage and, of course, um, and there was another thing that you mentioned that kind of threw me off. You said, uh, the first lie I want to clear up is that my daughter do not see other women in a sexual way. Yes, because that's what he said on the Ricky Smiley show. Okay, yeah. they must have cut that part out because I didn't, I didn't. They didn't cut it out. He, they said, he said that he see his baby mama, which is true. He do. He, he, he messes around with her. So he's messing with your daughter and his baby mama.
EmbracePangea.com. Remember that website, ladies, because this one is for you and all of your feminine needs. Visit EmbracePangea.com to treat your intimate areas with the products it deserves. The Pangea wash is made from honeysuckle and rose essential oils, is 100% natural, and doesn't dry you out down there. Don't dush, just in case your mama ain't never tell you that, because that's nasty, okay? Oh, that's nasty. Embrace Pangea wash instead, and leave you and your yoni feeling clean, fresh, and with a balanced pH. EmbracePangea.com is where you can explore all of these wonderful vegan and plant-based products. Use the promotional code Tasha K for 10% off your first order at checkout. Yes, he's he's now admitting to it, you know, but he's making it look like on Ricky Smiley that, you know, in other words, he's pretty much degrading my daughter, and I don't like that, you know. Okay. Saying that... um, he said, you know, he said it really quick, but he said, yeah, he see her, and she's seeing a woman, you know, I, you know that kind of stuff. That's ridiculous. So he he got on Ricky Smiley and basically said, I didn't see that part, and if I do, I will put it in here. Mm-hmm. Um, it, so basically he told the world that your daughter is having a, a lesbian relationship. Mm-hmm, yes. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with him. And uh, <laughs> the entire, like, um, staff of Ricky Smiley laughing about your daughter Having banana pudding in her hair. Well, they you thinking know? that it's his baby's mama with the banana but, pudding stuff. But even if it's yeah. ba- if it's baby mama, you're still he's laughing lying at about a the, woman. the woman that okay. he allegedly had the fight with. That's you know he's yeah. been abusing because he kept saying it yeah. was my baby mama. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, you also say now, Dewan, uh, aka Young Dro. Uh, the has been, I call him a has been because he, I haven't really seen anything from him since I guess he's cut ties with T.I. Um, you said that he's lived at your daughter's home for a little over two years because he lost his home, his cars, and his personal possessions. Yes, he has some, has some clothes with him. That's it. Just some clothes? Yes. Okay. Wow. Okay. And after all of this, your daughter still hasn't gotten up the courage to press charges on him, even after the latest incident. No, she haven't. And I've been really doing a lot of research because I wasn't really understanding this. Mm -hmm. But now that I've been researching on domestic violence and how it works and how it traumatizes women. Okay. um, That's that's considered normal. They don't. They, they don't press charges because they go through this phase of feeling sorry for the perpetrator. The perpetrator has a way of convincing them that they're sorry and they're not going to do it anymore. You know, I was, I was gonna they ask find you, ways to yeah, yeah make them convince them that it's not going to happen. But this has been happening to way too much. He's been doing this just about every month from the calls that I keep getting. He's hitting my daughter, you know. Okay. And obviously she won't listen to you, so this is your plea to make her listen. Well, you know, yes. I, what I, I'm very concerned about her mental state at this point um, because I'm just not understanding why she's still there. You know, I just, you know, I, I don't think she needs his money, you know, because she makes her own money. Mm-hmm. Um, I just don't understand the purpose of it. I know she loves his children, his children. To his youngest two children, they have a great relationship with her. A, they have a strong bond. Okay. But, you know, like I explained to her, you can visit with his kids without him. His kids don't even live with him. You know, they with their mothers. So it's, you know, his oldest daughter, yeah, she visits. Um, I'm told that she wants to move with him because she's at the age where she want to do what she want to do. You know, she's sexually active. She's dating. Mm. You know, and she can't do that with her mother. But you know, Sierra don't need. She don't need that responsibility. She's she's literally too young, you know, to be dealing with a teenager. Uh, but she she needs to move on with her life. That's what she. I really want her to do. I want her to make a comeback. I want the old Sierra back because I feel like I'm losing her. You know, um, you, she has become isolated. She's avoiding the family, and that's never been her. She loved her family, um, but somehow he's convinced her that. He obviously the only one that care anything about her. It's like he has control of her mind, and I've never known her let nobody control her mind. You know. Well, I mean, uh, Dro, Dro seems to be not that it's like an excuse or anything. He seems to be rather charming. Um, 
you know, has this kind of like free spirited personality <clears throat> um, from what I gather. And, you know, I kind of just reading through the comments, just like on any social media when he posts, like a lot of women kind of gravitate him gravitate towards that yes you know what i'm saying mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, aside from him being a rapper and you know you know all the other stuff that comes with that do you think because your daughter started off as his manager versus his girlfriend thinks that she kind of feels sort of responsible for his situation or maybe she, that she can help him since she started off as helping him because a manager is someone that kind of manages a person you know, day to day career aspects, mm. and sometimes it does roll over into their personal life. So I'm sure, even with him having kids, and you know, some of the things that were going on between his career and trying to work it out with his personal life, she was always the person there to make sure everything was going smooth. Do you think that she's just gotten used to that, and she feels because she used to manage him and she's seen him at his best that she can somehow fix this? Yes, I, I did. I saw that. Yeah. I, I and I take I've taken I've given all of this some thought. I've taken so much into consideration. But I don't want her to lose herself trying to save someone else, you know. Well that's um, generally what happens I, in these situations. Yeah, yeah. Women typically lose themselves because they, they fight so hard trying to, to save the person, trying to save the relationship and you know, in that process they don't realize how much energy they're just depleting and how much of themselves that they're just giving away. You know, yes, but you know, a person has to want to be saved. You can't help people that don't want to be helped. You Man. know, and, and this is where uh, I'm drawing the line. You know, at this point, because Joel, yeah, he may be charming, he's comical, yeah. but he's also a narcissist. He don't give a damn about no woman. He's a boy, and he's a big liar. And if, if what he need to do is go get some help. Quit lying to his fans. Quit getting on TV and social media outlets, outlets lying and perpetrating and pretending like you're all that and you're doing so well when you're not. You know, I think he would get more respect if he be honest with the fans and say, look, I got a problem. I need to get handle this problem. I don't expect him to incriminate himself, you know, but at the same token, I don't expect him to keep disrespecting my daughter, and dis disrespecting her family because I, we are very gr grieved over what has happened here and what she's going through. You know, I have my sister and my nieces, my niece, you know, they cry a lot over this situation, and they are very worried about her. You know, and I'm just, you know, I've seen my daughter give so much of herself to him and his children, you know, She's, she's brought so much beauty and love into this man's life, and he do not appreciate it. And that's, that really disturbs me, that he do not appreciate my daughter. He don't love her. I think he's using her for, to come up. You know, he, he, think he got this notion that he can come make a comeback, you know, um, but just continue to do what he want to do. When Joe is 40 years old, I think that ship has sailed. So, well, yeah, I mean, and along with the, the drug, if, if he has a drug problem, things like that, like, I'm sure that's just, yeah. It, well, it's over. It's, well, it's I said done. the same thing. He, <laughs> he, 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 yeah, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, a, yeah. he's a legend. His legend, David yeah. Days, is over with. I believe yeah. I say the same thing. It's over. Yeah, it's done. There's nothing left. <laughs> so now he wants, you know, but I'm not going to let him profit off my daughter's pain by now talking about um, a banana pudding um Pie venture, he's giving it a trial and all that. We're we're not going there. <laughs> so let's get it. So how? So when you make the banana pudding, draw yeah, yeah, yeah. you know uh, what's some of the process? Because we all want to make a good banana pudding. Hey, listen, man, whatever. get you a large mixing bowl. Uh -huh. Right. Combine the milk with the vanilla pudding mix, and don't forget the conden condensed milk. Now. Right. Okay. Right. And you might you could put a little a drop of whiskey in there. Oh. If, you, if you want to, right. Yeah. Or bourbon. Little, 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 little hen. Little hen. Anything right. is possible. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So after that, <laughs> you got to break up the lump. Break up as many lumps as you can with the cookies. If Don't you want. want right. Crush it, crush it across the top. <clears throat> get you and get. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of cookies. A lot of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> this the, is the gospel now. I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah. Crush right. it across the top. And then if you got you a little torch, you know, after you put that little whip on the top, uh -huh. just heat it. Just <laughs> Right. Number Don't forget to know it. Right. You know what I'm saying? After that, it's, it's, it's servable. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
Go ahead, go. Yeah, Gourmet Dro. Yeah. Gourmet Dro. And Gourmet you bought us a banana pudding this morning. Hey, man, I came bear. I came bear. Came through. Y'all yeah. came through, shout now, now, you, you, baby mama, did y'all work it out? Y'all back together? It, yeah. it, it, I don't even think it really got that far. It, right. It, so we, when did I she called, come get you out? Yes, we was like, it was like a joke. Like, we was like, what? And, and what, somebody, was make, somebody, what was a makeup loving like? I, 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 I'm talking about banana pudding. We started kissing with banana pudding in our mouth. She was licking on my mouth, licking on her mouth. Everybody was licking banana pudding. I'm licking on her, licking on her, licking, 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 licking. <laughs> Playing with me. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to clip all this bullshit. Surviving Joe Lies. I'm getting ready to start my own domestic initiative. Oh, wow. And um, I'm getting ready to help, you know, women. I want women to quit being silent about these men, especially celebrities, because they're no better than nobody else. And I don't understand why they feel like they're just infallible. They can just do what the they want to do to people and do to women and just continue to get away with it, you know, because that that's just not right, you know. And when I see my daughter cry, you know, and I've seen her cry, you know, and see her in the state of mind that she's in, that that's not a good feeling for any mother, you know. And, and she, yeah, she's an adult, but I see weakness there. And I had to, as a mother, I'd be less of a mother not to step up and try to help my daughter, you know, uh, regain you her want? strength. But what I want at this point, I want him out of her life. I think that she would do a lot better without him. I think it's probably, unless she, not that, not that I know the dynamics of this relationship, but it seems like he doesn't really have a pot to piss in. He don't. So it's it's going to take her, you know, somehow gaining some type of courage and strength from anywhere that she can pull it to put him out. Because I think that, you know, given the nature of the relationship, it's going to be hard to really put somebody out that doesn't have anywhere to go. His, like, mother, his mother have a house. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And that's yeah. why I said, like, yeah. he, me and that your daughter was his manager and still manages him. Like, I uh -huh. think that's kind of she feels like it's her responsibility, you uh -huh. know. Yeah. Maybe he's not being booked because of me or, yes. you know, things like that. Yes. So uh -huh. um, what do you want to say to your daughter? I mean, because we've, we've gone over a lot here, and I'm glad that you took the time to come forward. Um, when you, you called, when I called you and, you know, you shared what was going on with your daughter and the kids and things like that, um, it really just struck home to me because I know a lot of women that have gone through this. I've seen it in my home, you know. I've watched my mom, you know, people put hands on her. Uh -huh. Fortunately for me, that hasn't happened. And I always, and you know, a lot of us will live by that wish factor. Like I wish somebody would. But like you said, your daughter, you know, saw that happen to you, told you she, you know, stabbed, you know, your husband. Yes. Told you she would never wind up in that situation. And now she's actually in that situation. So we can never say what, you know, can never happen to us until we're in that situation. And I just want to know. You know, because I kind of want to wrap things up. Okay. Because I think we've we've really covered a lot. What do you want to say to your daughter? Do you want to look in that camera and, and tell her why why you're here to her? Uh -huh. Versus, because I know you're letting the public know what's going on with him and him trying to keep up this facade like he's still got it going on. But that ship has sailed and he needs to really work on himself. You know, kick the drug problem if that's what he has um, and get some counseling, get some help. What do you want to say to your little girl? Well, Sierra, what I want you to do, um, first of all, you know, I love you. You know, I'm am not the type of mother that tolerates bullshit, especially when it comes to my children. I understand that you're grown, but at this point, I feel that you're not making clear decisions. I want you to get some help. I want you to come out of this situation because domestic violence is a very serious situation. Many women are coming up dead as a result of domestic violence. The one do not want nothing but what he wants. You cannot help him. You cannot do anything else for him. You need to release him and let him go. Fantasia, let him go. Other women that have been in his life, let him go and they got somebody better. You can do the same thing. I want you to pull yourself together and make a strong comeback. Because right now, with the way you're doing things, it's hurting us. 
we are very, very worried about you. Um, we don't want you to isolate and quit communicating with us. I understand the dynamics of domestic violence. I understand the traumatization of it. And as I've been continuing to research, I see you in everything that I have researched. So the only thing I'm asking you, please get some help. And I, my prayer is that when Joe go to court, August 22nd, that he do not return back to your home. Mm. That's what I want to say. Wow. Um, I felt like <laughs> uh, what you said to her was your way of stabbing him. Like, because when she stabbed your husband, who I take was probably not her father. No. Probably, he, yeah. he was her father? No. Okay. No. So I take that this is your way of helping her. Of course. Yes. Like, just look, I can't stab him physically. Yeah. So I'm going to stab his ass where it's going to hurt, which is using the media. Yes. yes. Wow. Now, real quick, um, you mentioned Fantasia. Did Do you know if Fantasia was ever hit by Dro or went through these things? I was told that he was, that, yeah, that he literally bragged about it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, Joe, Joe is a narcissist. I don't know if you know anything about narcissism. Oh, yeah, I know. I have, well, he, I, is, he is a I narcissist. A, a narcissism, I mean, narcissism, you know, that's pretty close to me and my family. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he, he is really something. He's Now, when you say bragged about it, like, I know that's Fantasia's story to tell, but what did you hear? I, well, Just I was, briefly. Yeah, that he um, he half hit her, and he sent her out of her, his home, his home, naked. Oh. Yeah. Put her out the house naked? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so this is a, a long stemming problem that no one can fix but him. Yeah, that's right. He beat every woman he get. But the only thing that uh, I don't understand, why these women don't go forth? They don't report him, you know. Mm. I just don't understand that. I'm going to try something different. <laughs> okay. Um, I want you to, here's what I want the viewers to do. All right, guys, time to shout out one of my sponsors. You guys know that it's tax season, and I know you guys are going to be shopping for new and used cars. If you were smart, you would get a used car, okay? Take it from somebody that knows that's in a new car right now, and I'm trying to get that shit back. Please visit the Car Marshall link below, okay? This is a site that has over 100,000 cars in stock, ready for you to choose from, and using the link below in the description box as well as in the comments, you just type in your zip code, and they will do the work from there, okay? I want to share your email. Okay. And I want, because there's a lot, of, this is my fan base, okay? They, okay. They, they, they ride or die, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I want my, my fan base, my winos to, um, I want you to share your email. Okay, okay that's fine. I'll put your fine. email below. Mm -hmm. And I want you guys to take time to, to write, like, some encouraging words to your daughter. Okay, I will. And I that. want you to share those emails with her. I sure will. From women who have gone through it, from women uh, who are going through it, that you know maybe just kind of want to draw some strength off of her, um, and just women that just want to just kind of offer some encouragement. Because I think the more so we rally for each other, it gives us that strength that we once lost. Because as women, we're all connected. Yes, you know? we are. So, but whether black, white, or whatever, and I, I just want to try something different, and I want to see if this works, and I want to follow up. Yes, I, have, I, yeah. I don't do too many follow ups too often, but I think this is going to work, you know, being that everything is kind of put out on the forefront. There are no more secrets. I'm sure that this was just like a family secret. Like you said, this only started recently happening like this past year to her that but, you know but, of. Yes, yes. Okay, that yes. you know of. Yeah, but she's just now revealing okay. it this past okay. year. And you, but, you'll be surprised at uh -huh. how things have a, a you know, take change when it's out. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because you start to really see things for what they are and then, you know, and see people. So I want to see how those encouraging words from my winos will affect her. And when she's done, because I, I have a feeling she's going to be done because this is you stabbing him for her. Yes. To save her. Yes. Um, I want to sit down with both of you guys. I, w I would love that. Because you know, I, I, we Sierra would also that. said she's gonna she's gonna definitely write a movie. She's a writer. She's an author. Amazing. And she's yeah. gonna do a movie on her life, on this part of her life. She planned on doing that. Wow. So you know, she has a time when she's gonna come forth. You know, but uh -huh. right now she needs strength, and that's why I'm here. 
I don't want her to lose herself. This is what I'm, you know, really afraid of. Because I've been on that path, you know, where I had lost myself at one point. Mm. And I don't want that to happen to her. Even though she's went through far more than I went through Mm -hmm. physically, you know, and mentally with him. Because he physically and mentally abuses her. Which is... You know, which is uh, not that to say one is better than the other. But, oh, no. I mean, when you get both, when you get double, I mean, yes. it just really breaks you down. Yes. So no one's like judging her here. No, and I don't I, want I, her. To, I, I don't want know. Sierra to think that she's being judged. This is just a moment of strength. And for a mother to just, you know, you're just pulling the curtains back and saying no yes. more. And, so. and let me say it's, this happened to all women um, on course. many levels. Of course. Uh, all kind of women, all kind of great women, you know. They, they go through this. You know, Sierra's a life coach, you know. She can even take this channel, this, to help women. She's experienced it now. Well, I believe she will. Oh, yeah. She will. Yeah. So, and I mean, we... So as everything like, that she planned, I just wanted... I don't want her destiny to die. Okay. She has a great destiny. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> You're welcome, Tasha oh. Kay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so, like, just so filled with love. Like, I mean... This yeah. is just so, so sweet. And I mean, she may be pissed in the beginning, but she's going to look back at this and be like, Mom, thank you. She know how her mom wrote. <laughs> she know I don't, I don't play with the bullshit. <laughs> she know. I love it. I love she it. Know. I she know. She know how I am. I love it. Yeah. Do you want to tell the viewers your email? Yes. And where they can actually find you, follow you, or if they're going through something and maybe want to, you know, talk to you through email. They can uh, even call me. I have no problem with that. Okay, too. you want to share your information? Yes. Okay. Uh, my email address is Jen, J-E-N-S-W-I-F-T, and that's with a period, mid, M-I-D, south, at gmail.com. I'm going to start a domestic violence initiative. I'm... Going to be wanting women to come in, come on board, but let's get this thing cracking. Winos, if you want to help join Mrs. Um, Jennifer Anderson in helping to build her domestic violence initiative, yes. and the first uh, victim is your daughter. I'm and the helping first. Your da- well, you're the first. She's, She's the, the second. second. Yes. Okay. And this so, is a generational curse that we need to break. Okay. Please. Now, my youngest daughter, she experienced a little bit of this, but... She's a little different from Sierra Mm -hmm. because her tolerance is, like mine, is not, uh, she don't have a lot of tolerance. She's shorter than Sierra, but she'll fight King Kong. (laughs) She'll fight anybody. I like her. (laughs) But she walked away. She's she's done with that, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of her. All right. Well, Winos, please, she can use all the help, you know, right now, especially building this and actually using your words of encouragement to help her daughter gained some strength right now. So thank you, Miss Anderson. Thank you, Tasha K. Okay. This really hit me in my heart. And I was just like, well, I really, I got to help you. I I have to help you. I have a platform. So, I mean, if it was my daughter, I have a daughter. (laughs) She's 13. And I would, I would do the same thing. Well, I'm serious. Yes. Because you know what, um, what was, was really troubling. I see too many mothers on television and they're talking about their daughter after they're in the ground mm. from domestic violence. You said that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. It won't here. be me either. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> that's not going to happen, honey. <laughs> but yeah, but we're going to figure out all this. Like, you know, uh, Joe made the comment about the furniture, like he, how he lied about that. Yeah. And talking about some Huff furniture. No, he didn't even bring any furniture in there. That's her furniture. But yeah, but it wasn't mm-hmm. Huff. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to add something to his Huff. I'm finna huff and puff and blow your shit down, Joe. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> All right. Thank you That's so much, Miss Anderson. Okay, I'm going to do my signature outing. I okay. usually say, nah, I got to go. Bye. <laughs>